Uh, hi, my name is Dan Cowell. I'm an associate consultant with IBIS, and today I'm going to be going through an over overview of smart rounding. Uh, smart rounding is a tool that allows the user to define tiered pricing rules for rounding on sales prices. Uh, smart rounding has been applied to an open price discount journal that updates all the prices in the journal according to the rules. And uh, some notes, uh, smart rounding only applies to sales prices and only one smart rounding version can be used per currency. Uh, this is the smart rounding form. It can be found in the sales and marketing module in the setup under the price discount and smart rounding. Uh, as you can see on the left is where you establish the name, uh, your rounding version and the name for that. In the first part of the form is the smart rounding rules. In this you define the range for your tiered smart rounding rules. So the unit price to and from refers to uh, your range for each tiered pricing rule. Uh, the syntax field defines what you want your price to end in. And then the lower limit is the value where anything below this value and above the syntax value will round down. And the upper limit is the opposite of that where anything above this value and lower than the syntax value will round up. Uh, the next section of the form is the rule simulation. This feature lets you test each rule in your version uh, to make sure that it rounds correctly. In this example, uh, we put in the value of $12,345.60, and that number is contained in the range between $1,000.01 and $100,000. The smart rounding rule states that if the last two whole dollars are between 0 and $49, then the number will round down to the nearest 100. And then the opposite if the dollar amounts are between 50 and double zero. And then the number will round up to the next 100 as shown here. So to post smart rounding, uh, you have to go to an open, unposted price discount journal lines. Uh, it must contain at least one line with a relation of sales price. Uh, once you're in the lines, you click on the adjustment tab and click apply smart rounding. Smart rounding will be applied to all prices that fall within the currency and rules. And now I'm going to take you to a demonstration of what I just did. So here's the smart rounding form. As I said, it's found in sales and marketing under setup, under price discount, and smart rounding. Uh, here I've created a rounding version called ASIM or asymmetrical rounding. And I've created some rules uh, from one to ten dollars. If the dollar amount is ends in lower than 49 cents, I'd like it to round down to the next $1.95 and vice versa if it's above 50 cents. Uh, the next tier I have from $10.01 to $100. Uh, if the dollar amount ends in less than 40 cents, I want it to round down to the next $1.99 and vice versa if it's above 41 cents, I want it to round up to 99 cents. The next tier is $100.01 and $1,000. Uh, for this one, I want the whole dollar amount. If your dollar amount is between 0 and 15, I want it to round down to 0. And if it's from 85 to 99, I want it to round up to 0. And then the last tier I had was the 1,001 cent to 100,000. And for this one, if the dollar amount is between 0 and $49, I want it to round down to the lowest 100 and vice versa if it's above 50. So in the simulation here, I put in uh, $1,255.67 and that rounds to up to 1300 If I change that to $1,245.67, it 
it rounds down to $1,200. And then this is the rounding version members. Um, like I said, each rounding version can only uh, apply, or each currency can only have one rounding version. But if this is left blank, and you want to use the same smart rounding for any currency, then you can just come into the smart rounding setup and change the currency, and then apply it uh, to the currency you're using. I have it on US dollars currently. So now I'm going to go into the price discount agreement journal and open up the lines of my open price adjustment journal. And on the lines right now, I have an account and uh, an item number configuration. And I have the price currently set at $499. If I click on adjustment and apply smart rounding, as you can see, it changed that amount of currency to 500. They rounded up to the next uh, to the next hundred dollars. So that concludes my overview of smart rounding. If you have any questions, please email info at ibisync.com.